Greetings and bienvenidos, uh, Games for Gamers. This is Napalm Dawn. So we are here on the eve of Beta 4 dropping tomorrow, which is going to be Halloween. And you may notice the intro is a little bit different. It is not too often that I'm going to speak Spanish in the intro. However, for this brief little video, I wanted to do that because Today I'm going to give a shout out to another Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux channel who also covers other material and that is the channel for DP. So Double Patro for DP has been covering Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux for some time now. Now years ago there was a brief little situation between us because it was brought to my attention that a lot of my videos were showing up on DP's channel. And at the time, they looked like they were straight rips from the content of my channel. And this happens sometimes on YouTube. And when that happens, you basically kind of get into work infringement where your material is just simply taken and brought over to another channel as if it was their original content. The Redux project several years ago suffered a little bit of a, um, a problematic moment where we had somebody who claimed to want to work with the project and work on the team and they wound up actually taking Goofy's code and attempting to hire, literally hire, coders for themselves. This situation wasn't the case of somebody going out and getting the exact same code base that Goofy had and essentially doing their own work with it or their own fork, similar to you going to a supermarket and getting some hot dogs and me going to the same supermarket and getting the same hot dogs and then we both go home and grill them up. That's not what happened here. Basically what happened was Goofy's work was being taken directly by this other particular player and being pawned off as their original work. And it brought um, a kind of great deal of shame to the project because they were essentially like claiming that they were gonna put it up on a GitHub type thing and they were trying to recruit other developers to work on it saying that they were going to pay them it, it just wasn't a good look and they were also stealing mine and igor's works on youtube and putting it up on their own channel using it as a recruiting tool um similar to let's say a company making a game and then the u.s military using that game to recruit gamers into being in the military like a flight sim or something like that well what happened with dp is that when he was covering my content it wasn't too far off of that period of time where we had the person that was stealing goofy's work and stealing mine and igor's videos on youtube and pawning them off as his own so we were running a very tight ship at the time and to see my content on other channels again after getting this previous user completely struck um, out of existence on YouTube uh, basically three channel strikes and you're out we used the strike tool to get him off YouTube because that original person was stealing content well when DP came along essentially what DP was doing was his work was transformative he was uh, a native Spanish speaker taking videos at the time that were in English, my videos, and bringing them to those people who spoke Spanish natively. And he was transforming the work. This does count as essentially transformative because he was translating the English material for uh, Spanish speakers. And at the time, I admittedly, I did not necessarily pay the most attention to uh, what was happening there and it looked like we were having a repeat of somebody stealing content so I used the YouTube strike system to get the videos taken down and I do believe at the time he suffered two strikes. 
looking back at it, it was a um, a thoroughly unfair situation that I put DP in on that one. And I noticed on the channel uh, there was a bit of fear of losing the channel at the time. And after translating a lot of the comments, it realized that I had misinterpreted the works. So on the eve of Beta 4 coming out, I would like to definitely issue an apology to DP and welcome him to definitely continue covering the betas for those who speak Spanish as their uh, default language. I'm going to put a link to DP's channel down below and uh, he is over here. He covers other games aside from Avengers Alliance Redux but as you can see here he's been covering Redux for Spanish speakers for some time and has generally been keeping up with it and putting out updates as to when things look a little bit grim and when things are getting better and it looks like a beta is coming out so with beta 4 coming out on Halloween which is currently tomorrow I definitely hope DP is still around in the Facebook group and still paying attention gets a link to beta 4 and covers it on his channel I would like to officially uh, give a shout out and recognize DP and hope that he continues to provide Spanish-speaking Marvel Avengers Lines Redux content uh, to the fans on his particular channel. I, I do believe he's still in the group. I'm not too sure who he is on Facebook. I don't know if he's on Discord, but uh, as you can see, he's been keeping up with Redux for a while. He covers Call of Duty, especially Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, looks like Dota 2. Also, um, other Marvel games like Strike Force and others. So, definitely go check them out. And uh, DP, I definitely hope you are still continuing to follow the project and are able to produce some Beta 4 content. Uh, looking back at the time, I realized that a lot of what was going on was that I was doing videos on the private betas and alphas that only I had access to. So there was no real chance for somebody um, outside of the development team in Redux to do videos. So if you were somebody who spoke Portuguese only or Spanish only, your options were definitely limited to getting Redux information in your native language. And um, unfortunately, my strikes may have uh, almost interfered with DP's ability to do that for Spanish speakers. So again, DP, my apologies. Hope that you are covering Beta 4 and that you are excited to see Beta 4 drop in what hopefully should be mm, half a day, maybe a day at the most, half a day. So again, my apologies. Good luck on your channel and I hope you are still around to cover Beta 4 when it releases. Thanks everybody, and check you guys tomorrow for the available download links for Beta 4. See everybody, happy Halloween.